welcome to the first part of 1111. This haul basically consists of things that have the same best deal as 1111, but for whatever reason, it couldn't be in 1111. Two blushes from 3CE. I got it from Shopee because they had a huge discount, so I couldn't let it go. Friendly, also the blush that I currently have on. Cool tone light mauve pink. It has a little bit of brightening effect. Enjoyable, a bright peach with hints of copper. I've worn this shade out previously. It is a little bit too dark for my skin tone. The shade can be a little bit dull, but it is bright at the same time. Can help you create a friendly, warm, and approachable vibe. <laughs> Mega shout out to this extremely pretty futuristic packaging. Stippling Dual Fiber Brush from Fozo. It's a dual fiber animal hair brush. It fits exactly at this spot right here for brightening blushes. Very handy. Travel size brush, so it has a smaller handle. Synthetic hair dual fiber stippling brush from CC. It was just on a huge discount, so I bought it. <laughs> Press powder from Azac TK. A little puff inside. It has a bit of purple to it, so it gives you a brightening effect. I've worn it up for 3 to 4 hours and it stayed on really well. It makes your skin look like skin, no trace of powder. It just gives a very cloudy effect. It felt like my skin was blurred and it was soft. <gasps> interesting. However, I'm not sure if this is suitable for oily skin because I have dry skin. Concealer brush from Love Beauty it has a triangle tip made to specifically highlight your tear trough area. The size is just nice to get into that spot. Blush palette from CC in shade 04 Peach and Purple. A brightening pink, a shimmer and two blush shades. Gives a very lively and excited vibe. Soothing Repair Cream from Peepa. It's a brand similar to Wayne Wona. A repairing cream with a thinner formula that's also suitable for people with oily skin. This huge powder brush, mega powder brush from CC set my face just now and I just smacked it very lightly like that on my face. It feels nice. <laughs> I set my under eye area with this powder from CC. It is a pressed powder, shade 01. It gives a soft blurry effect with a little bit of coverage. Setting spray from CC. I love that the mist is coming out very evenly and it just lands on your face. You don't even need much strength to press this down. This spray is great. However, I'm, I'm not very sure if this will help to make your makeup last longer. I've used this quite a few times. I didn't notice a huge noticeable difference. So... Take your cell pen from Everbet. Let me tell you, this is my new love. I'm saying it very softly in case you tell little on Dean. <laughs> This and little on the my top two Egosau dual sided pens. Ink pen side comes out very smoothly, even much smoother than the little on the one. One stroke and you're done. <gasps> I use the ink pen side to draw my Egosau shadow today, along with some brown eyeshadow. Downside about this is crayon side a little bit too peachy for my liking. I don't know if I should be happy or sad or frustrated about these, but I bought the brushes from Flower Nose. Usually in the deals that I buy, these brushes come as a gift with purchase along with the deal, but recently the deals haven't been that great of a deal, so they did not have the brushes, which is quite a pity. But I... Mm, I have to have them, so I purchased them! The Moonlight Mermaid Collection and these two are from the Swan Belly Belly Swan Collection. Shapes are a little bit different. Animal hair, very soft, good quality brushes in general. I just have the greed to own all the brushes since I already have most of them. Cleanser from Si Uzi, known for using mushroom extract in their products as one of their main ingredients. Matsutake Mushroom Amino Acid Cleanser. Upon research, it is said that they are renowned for having anti-inflammatory and anti-aging benefits. After using it, your skin does not feel tight and dry at all, which is nice. Loose powder from CC in shade H03 Velvet Fog Blue Ice. The blue powder. Right to use it for the first time. There was a protective mesh right in here and it was so hard to take out. I spent five minutes trying to take that thing out and when I took it out, the whole thing just, oh, the powder was everywhere. Used it to set my forehead today. Gives a soft matte blurring effect. Also has a little bit of brightening properties because it is blue. Eyeshadow brush I bought on Xiaohongshu from Jie Shiling. It was on a discount, so I bought it to try it out. One of their, uh, what's that called? Item with a little bit of defect, so they sold it at a discounted price. Eyeshadow palette from CC. In my previous video, I bought the other two colorways of this palette. I really like them, so I decided to make it a complete set. Shadows are super soft and buttery. Shimmer shade is very blinding as well. They have my heart. They have my greed also. <laughs> Eyeshadow quartz from CC. Shades 2, 3, and 5. 2 has more pinkish brownish vibes. Shade 3 I wouldn't really recommend because the light blue and the light pink shade are a little bit too bright and too light. Palette 5, my favorite out of them all. Soft pink shades with bright glitters. Mirrors from Flower Nose from their Mermaid collection. Exchanged these with my membership points. 
a little bit disappointed. It's really hard to open. You gotta put your nail into the slot and kind of force it open. So if you do not have nails or if you have very long nails, then this might not be for you. The mirror on one side and an acrylic piece on the other. It just makes this part really heavy. Down. Eyeshadow palette from Everbeb. I actually got two. Two. Shade 01 and the other in shade 02. We all know that I love the Everbeb palettes. Shade 1, 5 matte shades and 1 shimmer shade. Glitter shade consists of champagne, silver and a little bit of pink micro glitter. It's said to be recommended for warm medium skin tones. Top shade right here, if you mix it all together, it is just a skin colored brightening shade. Palette 2, a cool tone palette most suitable for people with cool or fair skin tones or people with olive undertones. I have this palette on my eyes today. I love it so much. The only pity is that it does not have a shimmer shade. Ugh. All matte shades. This dark purple shade right here actually has a creamy party texture. The eyeshadows are soft and easy to blend. They are a little bit more pigmented than their previous eyeshadow. Shades might look bright but they do show up. I have this purple and this purple all over my eyes today. I'll share with you also these necklaces. They previously only have the gold ones which I bought one off and I really liked it. And when they came out with the silver one because I am cool toned, silver suits me better. I had to get it. The one I currently have on is the Star Card. The other one I bought is the Knight of Cards from a brand on Xiao Hongshu called Sweet Olive. Also water resistant so you can wear them when you take a shower. I don't know how I did my makeup. I will post a shots or a whatever. I'll link it in the description. Bye bye.